Hello everyone. So today I'm coming to talk about Starlink. I'm going to talk about our internet. Like it's been helpful for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm using MTN TableNet. This is it. Uh, I'm using Vodafone. I have Vodafone broadband over there. This is also another one I use in universe. I use Tigo sometimes or Vodafone. <laughs> this, this was the self line. So look at this. And I have this dongle. I have another one. I have, I have quite a number. I mean, I've even given some out to people. So you can see that I'm frustrated when it comes to internet. I need a lot of uh, internet speed. I need a uh, speed that is very fast. I need upload and download speed. And I've been struggling. Now, I did a video recently complaining bitterly about Vodafone. And they've, they were able to do my line for me after four weeks. Four weeks, and I, I was receiving a message that my data is expiring and it has expired. And when they came to do it, I told them, I just bought data today. Tomorrow my line dropped and I reported it. Since you didn't do anything about it, get my data back for me. I have been there one week up to now. I haven't gotten it. But surprisingly, just two days ago, I've written a letter to NCA explaining to them that this is what happened. And <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> First, I wasn't, I was just writing the letter, probably believing that I did, nothing will happen. And I received a reply from NCA. They have assured me they are going to forward my complaint. And if anything comes out, I should let them. But surprisingly, within one hour, I received a call from Vodafone that I have lost this complaint. And I told them, yes, I need my data back. And they said they are going to give it to me. I'm still waiting. So during this frustration, I decided to get the Starlink. I know Starlink is not yet in Ghana. It's not yet approved. But I decided to do roaming from Nigeria. Okay. So I know a lot of you will be asking questions. How much is it? Where did you get it? And all of that. Uh, I'm not advertising for anybody in Ghana here. And uh, I got mine from Nigeria. I, it was through a, a friend who, you know, I worried the guy. I worried the guy. He was in Ibadan. Had to go to Lagos with the thing himself, give it to a car. The car to be charging a certain amount. You have to go back, pay them until you arrive in Ghana. But upon all the trouble I have gone through, this thing is still less than 6,000. Because on the site, it's 440k, and then when I bought it, it was 490k. It was so cheap, okay? Now, I understand why some of you sell things too expensive. And I sell things sometimes, and sometimes I just give up. I buy the thing, and then I decide to use it. Because when it comes, and then you have to go and pay tax. Now, in Ghana, when you buy an electronic item, you are going to pay 46% of the value you bought the item. So I was selling some transmitters. I still have them there. I don't know how to price them. And when I went there, they, they charged me 46 on one. Okay, so if you are not a business that who know how to go through the system, you may not be able to sell. Uh -huh. So me, I have even given up. I have some still there. If you want it, you can let me know. I will sell it. But I will sell it at the price I bought it and then add my the tax to it because I really pay for it. But if you have money, it is worth buying the Starlink. Okay. Now, I'm doing the roaming, it's less than 500 a month. And if you are doing the residential, I think it's going to be less than 400. So it is, it is worth it. Many Nigerians, when they import this into their country, they are not paying tax for it. And I just hope that when it is approved in Ghana, we will not be paying huge tax to import these things. Okay, these are the reasons why people will not want to buy. So I'm pleading with the government, if we approve the Starlink, let's remove the tax on it so that everybody can buy. And it will not be expensive. And then don't put the tax on it for us to be paying huge for data. Data is so expensive in Ghana. Data is so expensive in Ghana. MTN, Vodafone, all of them, they are too expensive. Okay, now this one is unlimited. I bought this, I think I've used about 500, uh, 500 gig already. And it's still going. It's not up to three weeks. Or I think it's three weeks. It's very small buy. But I will use this up to one tera and I will still be using it. Okay, so... Yes, if you ask me if it's worth it, it's worth it. If you are a business who do a lot of upload and all, all of those things, try and get the self line. It will, it will help you. I, have, I haven't had challenge yet. Now, for me, I'm not able to fix it on my roof yet. It's just on the floor. But I still get 250 sometimes. And then the upload, I get 10, 15. Okay, so the upload is not that huge. So I, I'm praying they work on the upload so that it becomes higher for us because that's what some of us need. And I have surveyed the area and I've seen where there is no obstruction. Where I put it right now, it's just on the floor. I haven't put anything up to put it there. So it's on the floor. And frankly speaking, when I'm doing WhatsApp video call, everything is smooth. 
browsing is smooth, watching YouTube videos. What, what again do I need? Everything works fine. Okay, so if you are a company and you spend so much on it, you can use this. A lot of people can connect to this device and at the end of the month, you will not spend that huge amount of money. Okay, so yeah, this is what I'm using now. I'm doing roaming. And if you ask me, I'll tell you that it's worth the amount, 6,000. If you do the calculation of data you need, because sometimes my data doesn't really last for a month. I'm using Vodafone 400 something gig, and at the same time, I'm using uh, MTN 350, but it doesn't, the two combined doesn't last me for a whole month. Okay, and it is expensive. It is expensive. So I'm praying that when it comes to Ghana, uh, something will be done about it, the price will reduce so that everybody can at least uh, use the internet okay so thank you very much if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section i'll answer but i will not be able to tell you how i got it from nigeria you can get somebody from nigeria to do it for you because it wasn't that easy i'm not going to use this guy to do any of your, your business so if you want to get it in nigeria just get somebody in nigeria when they are coming uh, when the cars are coming to Ghana, they will give it to them and all of that. And they will be paying some things on the way and all of that. So, yeah, if you have the money, please go for it. Thank you.